like to meet you for my lecture once again. So wish you guys are taking care of yourself as well as your study, right? Okay. So today we are going to discuss about introductory lecture on general pharmacology, which is the first lecture in this series of pharmacology one. Right, so this is myself Sunil Kumar Sa, and this lecture is especially for fourth semester B pharmacy student, but it is also for um, those all students whose syllabus include this one. Right, but before I will go, I will admit that this lecture was previously made by myself. So, but this video is especially full up of animation, and uh, it is having improved visual graphics which will allow you to understand more easily and clearly okay so are you guys ready for this <laughs> okay so let's start with a question okay so what do you mean by pharmacology or what do you understand by pharmacology it seems that um, alice has appeared and let's see what she's telling hello sir good morning good morning alice do you want to answer this question yes okay go ahead Pharmacology is the study of medicine and drug, and side effects, and mechanisms of action, something like that, right sir? Yeah, you are absolutely right Alice. So guys, Alice came with her answer, and similarly you might have your own answer, am I right? But those guys who do not have their own answer, or they are confused, or they cannot produce their own answer, should not worry about this anymore, right? So why I am saying like that? Because I am not going to explain you all those stuff. Rather, I will make you travel and see what exactly is happening in pharmacology and what it is all about by using animation and my visual graphics. Okay? So guys, are you ready for this? Okay. So let's begin. Okay? So first of all, I will draw the very familiar structure of GIT. Alright? And suppose a person is taking a medicine like capsule or tablet. Right? And once this medicine will reach to the stomach, you know it will go for, it will break down and it will give rise to drug particles. And that drug particles will further undergo dissolution process and free drug molecules will come outside. Right? And thus produce these free drug molecules start traveling through GIT. Right? And you know the blood supply in the GIT, there is a special circulation. Okay? For right now, you just understand this is a blood circulation into GIT. Blood circulation which will supply blood to the GIT. Alright? Okay. So what you can see, the drug molecule from GIT, they start migrating. They start migrating to the blood circulation. Am I right? And you can also see that some of the drug which are blinking in the GIT, they will not get absorbed. Rather, they will just move along with the GIT and they will get excreted without getting chance of getting absorbed. Right? And some of the drug into GIT, what will happen, which is blinking right now, they will get metabolized or get destroyed by various metabolizing enzyme produced by microorganism or bacteria. Right? So, what does it mean? It means all the drug which you are taking from oral route will not get absorbed to blood circulation. Some will be excreted in feces and some will be destroyed by various metabolizing enzyme in the GIT. Right? Now, I will write the name. This is GIT and this is blood circulation. Okay? So, the first step where the medicine was breaking down into drug particle, that is called as drug disintegration. Okay? And after that, these drug particles further undergo dissolution process to release drug molecules. And that process is simply called as drug dissolution. Okay? So, here what you can see that the drug molecules are liberated from the medicine. Right? So, that's why these both steps together are called as drug liberation. Right? I hope you have understood this much. So, after this, what was the next step? Do you remember? Okay. So, it seems that Sophia has arrived. Okay. So, she want to say something. Yeah? Sophia, go on. Hello, sir. Transfer of drug from GIT to blood circulation. Yeah, you are absolutely right, Sophia. But can you give me the exact term given for this step? Drug absorption. Yeah, absolutely right. So guys, till now we have seen two steps. That is drug liberation, which include drug disintegration and drug dissolution. And the next step was drug absorption. Okay, now we will uncover remaining story furthermore. Right? Okay. So this one is GIT. And do you know which blood vessel is this one? 
okay so its name is hepatic portal vein and this blood vessel is very unique why because it will not go to heart you know all the veins will go to heart directly but this is a unique type of blood circulation where the blood will not go to heart instead it will go to liver first and from there then it will go to heart okay so what will happen to these drugs which has come to this hepatic portal vein they will slowly go to liver they will migrate to liver along with this blood okay so whenever this drug will go to liver for the first time a small quantity of drug will get destroyed okay and that is called as first pass metabolism but for right now you don't bother about it we are going to discuss it in a later part of this lecture okay and what will happen to the remaining drug the remaining drug will start moving to heart okay and once they will reach to heart you know what will happen you know heart will pump the blood and it will distribute all the blood to different different organ right so let me draw a few uh, organs and blood vessels okay so suppose these are two different cells from two different organ okay i have not drawn two different organ because i don't have a space and on the surface of them there is a black color molecules which is called as receptor okay they are generally big molecule or macro molecule protein substances okay we will discuss them in later lectures okay so whenever the heart will pump the blood along with this along with this blood the drug will be also distributed to different organ okay and some of the drug may go to the git that is via hepatic portal circulation and once again this drug will go to the liver for the second time okay when they will go for second time some of the drug may get destroyed again okay some of the drug may get destroyed again right and the remaining drug will continue the journey and this cycle will keep on repeating right so suppose this drug is again reaching to where to the heart once it will again reach to heart you know it may go to different organ or they may also go to the git right and when it will go to the git okay it will again reach to the liver right and when it will reach to the liver it will again get destroyed okay and this cycle will keep on running until all the drug will get destroyed in our body am i right hope you guys have understood this so let's uh, mention the steps okay so this is drug liberation which we have already seen and next step was drug absorption and you know when the drug was distributed from our heart to various organ that is called as drug distribution step okay and you know in the liver the drug was getting destroyed that is called as drug metabolism right and you remember when the drug came for first time a small quantity of drug was destroyed by the liver that is called as first pass metabolism okay and these products of metabolism are simply called as drug metabolites so what happened to these drug metabolites so these drug metabolites are highly water soluble and most of them which are low molecular weight they will mix in the blood and they will go to kidney and they will reach to kidney and from there they will excreted out in the urine right this step is called as drug excretion right and some of them which are high molecular weight uh, drug metabolites they will mix in the bile and from bile they will go to git and from git they will excreted in our feces okay so we'll study these things in uh, drug metabolism in hepatic reentry okay so guys can you see here and tell me one thing that whether it is liberation or absorption or metabolism distribution or excretion who is doing this activity your body is doing right so can i say that this is what the body do to the drug right can i say yes if you have understood this much you just remember this line this is what the body do to the drug okay now we'll see what these drugs are going to do with our body so suppose one of these drug will bind to the receptor of one cell okay as a result what will happen the cell will show some biological response okay and if this biological response is beneficial effect that will determine therapeutic use of the drug right okay and suppose the drug is binding to some another organ to some another receptor and if it is showing the biological response which is harmful to our body then that will determine adverse drug reaction and side effect of the drug right so this is what the drug do to the body okay and a study of this uh, beneficial effect and harmful effect and how they are doing is called as pharmacodynamics understood 
and just opposite to that whatever body do to the drug that a study is called as pharmacokinetics so what is pharmacokinetic so pharmacokinetic is what the body do to the drug and the collective study of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamic is called as pharmacology i hope now you have understood what is pharmacology right so pharmacology is the study of pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic of a drug okay so now can we define pharmacology okay so in crude way we can define pharmacology as it is a collective study of what the body do to the drug and what drug do to the body right but we can reframe this definition in a better way like pharmacology is the collective study of drug and their uses their effects on body okay what type of effect we are going to see then the mood of action or mechanism of action of the drug how they are going to work and adverse drug reaction and side effect on the body okay along with that drug interaction and their various pharmacokinetic profile all right so this is all about definition for pharmacology so now coming to major branches of pharmacology we have already seen that pharmacology include a study of what the body do to the drug and a study of what the drug do to the body okay so what is the term given for this anyone anyone there okay it seems salis has appeared so she want to say something yes salis yes sir it's called pharmacokinetics yeah you are absolutely right it is called as pharmacokinetic right delis can you just little bit explain about what are the steps which will come under pharmacokinetic yeah we have studied drug liberation absorption distribution metabolism and excretion yeah drug liberation absorption distribution metabolism and excretion right so if i will take first letter from each step it will become l a d m e right and this is for solid doses forms like tablet capsule powders pills etc because their drug molecules are not free and they have to be liberated okay but what about liquid doses form so for liquid doses form drugs are already in molecular form so there will be no liberation and it will be adme that is absorption distribution metabolism and excretion so now i will ask a question to you guys so guys can you tell me what will be for uh, intravenous injection oh it seems again alice has come so i think she is searching something in her book yes sir i was searching answer and i found it it's the me absolutely right alice it is called dme means distribution metabolism and excretion there will be no absorption for intravenous injection right now coming to the study of what the drug do to the body is called as what it's called pharmacodynamics that's good it is called pharmacodynamics okay where we are going to study about drug effects on various organ mechanism of action of the drug then we are also going to see therapeutic uses of drug and we are also going to study adverse drug reaction and side effect right so this will come under pharmacodynamics hope you guys have understood this one very clearly right okay now uh, coming to important questions so generally the questions will be direct from this chapter like define pharmacology with its branches or what do you mean by pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics or they simply give you adme right this is very very important right and sometimes they will give you ladme okay and just these are for two marks question and rarely five marks question will come from this chapter okay now it's time for quiz okay and it seems that uh, alice has arrived she want to participate and what about you guys okay so let's start so can you post the quiz sufia okay go ahead who is the father of pharmacology and the options are and guys here your time is start okay so guys please think okay it is not only alice who is participating and whatever your answer is coming that you please mention in the comment section let me check okay hippocrates okay i think alice has come with her answer we'll check it later okay so guys time's up please stop okay and now we'll see the answer okay so sufia can you tell me the correct answer yeah she is telling it is ostwald okay so sorry alice ostwald is the correct answer and hippocrates is uh, the father of medicine and ridolf was the professor of ostwald many people get confused with this name and tosio is the father of modern pharmacology okay guys 
so now it's time to say bye bye to sufia and alice okay bye alice bye bye sufia bye sir bye bye sir okay see you soon in the next lecture so guys did you enjoyed this lecture and uh, how was the company of sufia and alice in this lecture please mention in the comment section and let me know okay and so far as the study material is concerned you can download this study material from from our facebook group the link is given in the description section or you can uh, message me your subject and email id in instagram that uh, instagram so that i will add you in the mailing list and you will get the note right and for this also the link is given in the description section okay with this we came to the end thank you thank you very much and please subscribe my channel and if you enjoyed this video please uh, give me a thumbs up right and mention in the comment section and study well okay bye bye see you soon in the next lecture